you welcome back to this video in this video we'll be getting started with html so the first thing i want you guys to do for me is go to your system i'm right here in, in my system if you're working on the windows machine it could be in your document anywhere in your system and just create a particular folder right so the first folder i'm going to create i'm going to create a folder here and i'm going to call this particular folder i will call it um html files right so this is where everything is going to leave underscore files right so just give your folder any name probably just html just is fine so in this particular folder that is where i'm dropping the whole videos i'm recording and here i'm going to say html files but this is where my entire project will be living on right so that being said so the next thing i want to do now is to go to my vs code and try to import that particular folder right so i'll go to file my vs code i could easily just click and drag and drop it here but let me just go to the regular post i'll go to file here and i'll click on open folder right so once i click on open folder i will look for where that folder is in my system and try to get that particular folder i know i dropped it somewhere here so i'll just basically navigate to where i dropped that particular file and i know that it's somewhere around here all right so this is it html file so that's the folder right so this is the folder i just created so i'm going to bring it inside my vs code of course Instead of you creating it this way, you can actually just drag and drop the folder and VS Code will know it. So the moment I do that, VS Code will do this for me. Do you trust this author? Yes, I trust this author and so on and so forth. I'll just close this. And yep, so I have my HTML folder showing HTML underscore files, the new folder I just created instead of my VS Code, right? So the next thing I want to do right now is to create my first file, right? But before I create my first file, before i create my first file i want to talk about like the definition of html um uh html file structure and so on and so forth right so let's just do that verbally right so html on its own stands for hypertext markup language hypertext markup language in other words html is not a programming language html is a markup language right so it helps us to be able to build the structure of web pages now the next thing i also want to talk about is file extensions right so um file extensions are ways that computer systems be able to like categorize different files according to and the group that they belong to for example images have the regular file extension of png so whatever is the name of the file you see dot png if you create a, a file with um, ms word for example whatever is the name of the file you see dot docx which is document file and extension uh, and other stores photoshop files have the normal extension of psd so in this case html files have the extension of dot html whatever name you give it dot html or better still um um uh, uh htm if they want to add the l right so i'm going to create our first file and i'm going to drop it with that file extension so i'm going to create a, a first file here and by clicking this particular uh, full uh, icon here i'm going to create a first file and i'm just going to call this one basic right so let's just call it basic basic.html so the html that i'm adding there is basically the file extension as i said earlier on if you notice this particular icon here is changing Right, you want me to type something else, right? It does not understand that particular file. But if you just say HTML, it's the text editor which is VS Code understands that. And if you just say HTM, it also understands that. So I'm just going to add L to it as I love to. Then I'll just create this particular file, which simply means I created my first HTML file, which is simple. So the moment you create it here, even if you go back to the folder, where it is you see that the business html have been created for us inside our system right so once i have it here the next thing i want to do is i want to write my simple html files um and tags but this will lead me to talk about one thing called tags so let's talk about tags so one way i love to teach newbies html i have to tell them that okay html is a game of tags right it will simply means that if you know tags you automatically know html so html have like hundreds of tags of course which i don't think anybody knows the whole tags of html but of course you can know a handful of them that will allow you to do whatever whatever thing that you want to actually do or create or build right so that being said um, and what are tags? So tags in HTML allow us to categorize our um, our information on our web page, right? So they allow us to categorize several information. So we have several tags, right? And all you need to learn in HTML is basically tags, right? 
and HTML have these rules, I call them tag rules, which simply means that if you open a tag, you must close the tag. So that's all you just need to know. Open tag, if you open a tag, you must what? Close that particular tag. So that being said, the next thing I'll be taking you guys is basically um, 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 tags, 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 tags. I'll take you guys several tags, and by the time I'm done with these several tags, we are technically done with HTML, then we'll move to the second thing, which will be CSS. So that being said, let's talk about the first tag. So the first tag that we're going to talk about in HTML is the particular tag called HTML on its own. And one way you define that a certain text is a tag is by creating what we call the angle bracket. So we'll call this angle bracket. It could be your less than or your greater than sign on your keyboard, but definitely we we'll call it angle bracket here. So inside the angle bracket, you want to write HTML, right? So once you write HTML inside the angle bracket, you have like your first HTML tag. And this particular tag simply means that this particular tag is what? It's an open tag, right? So there are other, let's try and see if we can close this particular tag. Remember I said that in HTML, we have, we should be able to both open and close a tag. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to add forward slash and I'm going to write HTML. And of course, as you can see, just because of I added a forward slash here, I have automatically closed that particular tag. So let me zoom in a little bit and show you guys what I'm trying to see. You see, just me by adding forward slash here is closed. So this one without the forward slash is open. This one without with the forward slash is closed. But if I type HTML like this, right? HTML like this, no, not this. I just want to type it HTML. Right, perfect. So HTML like this is not a tag, it's a text. So what makes this a tag in the first place is the angle bracket, right? But if you write it the angle bracket, it's not a tag, it's a text. And if it does not have the forward slash, it's an open tag. If it has the forward slash, the close tag. So one thing you want to know in HTML is that anytime you open a tag, you want to close the tag. So the next thing I want to talk about is what I call the HTML basic structure. So let's talk about the HTML basic structure. So the first thing in the HTML basic structure is the HTML tag, of course, followed by the second tag, which I, which I love to call the head tag. So let's do that. So I'm going to say the head tag. So I'm going to create my HTML and VS Code, no, sorry. VS Code have this good software whereby if you just type the name of the tag, you will see it there. And if you hit enter or return on your keyboard, it automatically just get the open and close tag for you, right? And another thing again that you could see that I'm doing is that I'm indenting. What do I mean by indenting? I'm trying to give a reasonable space that will allow me read my code, right? So many people have asked me, someone, is it possible if I write my codes like this without basically breaking it to the next line and so on and so forth? Will it still work? Of course, it will still work, right? So the reason why we indent is because we want it to be clear enough for us to read. So I'm going to hit enter and try to indent it. And when I'm indenting it, I try to indent it according to hierarchy and VS Code is also good to help us do that as well. You could see that VS Code is automatically helping us to actually arrange it well as well. So I have my head tag and instead of my head tag, I have another kind of tag that is inside the head tag that is called the title tag. So basically this is where the title of our, 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 our file comes in. So in this case, I'm just going to name it basic structure. So I love to call it basic structure because every HTML document out there in the world has this exact structure, right? And that's why I call it basic structure, right? So the next I'm going to have is the body tag. All right. So you could see that the body and the the body the body and the head tag is basically um, 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 is basically of the same hierarchy, right? The body and the head tag is inside the HTML tag and the HTML tag is inside the title tag. So how many tags have you guys learned so far? You guys have learned four tags. HTML number one, the head number two, the body number three, and the title tag number four. Right, so let's just type a simple text here, right? So let's just type hello world inside here. So I'm going to say hello world, right? I'm just going to drop this here and I'm going to save it. Now, if I save it, the next thing now is how do I get to see this stuff? that I am that we are actually doing that we just wrote right now. So the next thing is let's run this particular file. So I will go back to where I save my document and I'll right click on it and I'll click on open with right if you're on a Windows machine you also you should also be able to see open with I'll click on open with and I will choose Google Chrome which is my most preferred browser and I'll say open with Google Chrome. And the moment I click on open with Google Chrome, you could see that this particular file has been opened instead of my Google Chrome and I could see hello world, right? And I have my first HTML basically. So, but before I round up this particular video, I want to talk about one more tag and that tag is what I'm going to call the paragraph tag, right? So the paragraph tag is noted with the word P, 
right? So with P, you should be able to like denote paragraph tags, right? So I'm going to say this is my first paragraph, right? So let's do that. So this is my first paragraph. All right, perfect. I'm going to save this and I'm going to go back and I'll just go back to my browser and I'll just hit on reload or refresh. And I'm going to have this is my first paragraph. Now, if you, if you notice, the title is inside this particular um, um, tab here, which is called basic structure. That is because of the type basic structure here. So let's say, let me add something else. So let me add getting started here. Getting started. Let me assume that the title of this particular file is getting started. I'm going to save it. And if I go back and refresh, of course, you're going to see that the title has changed to getting started. So this simply means that everything that you guys see on the web or on a particular website, they all come inside the body tag. So right here, everything here on this white space is the body tag. Why this upper part is actually the head tag, right? So this is the head tag of the of the document and the body tag. So I'm just going to control Z, control Z, and leave it back to basic structure. And that is where I would love to leave it. And there you go. And don't forget to actually subscribe to the YouTube channel and definitely ask me any questions inside the comment section if you have any questions at all. So see you guys in the next video.